What is up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Mousetrap, and I hope all you guys had a good um, New Year's Eve. Spend it with some family, people that you know you really fuck with. Um, man, we spent it with the little family, the kids, parents, sisters, all that. You know, we had a good little time. We ate a lot of seafood, shot some guns. I'll actually drop a clip right now. Check it out. Okay, right there that clip man that you just hear everybody just shooting in the background you know we had a couple guns out here we didn't really go that much ham this year but man next year we'll get down man just it felt like christmas was just the other the last uh, yesterday but man i'm glad the holidays are over we can finally get back to what this channel does is work on these cars man so for today's video i got something pretty good for you guys so one of my uh favorite things to do is fiberglass car audio and you guys seen on the other videos um, if you watch them if not man subscribe and check the other videos out man we do some crazy fiberglass work nice fiberglass work at that um, I did have dropped one video where I did some door panels you know I'll leave the pop-up right here you know if you want to scroll back down and check that video out I didn't really much talk on that video but man you can see it and I mean any questions you know comment let me know and I will get back to you um, but you know I'm gonna start getting more into detail with the fiberglass stuff so um this video is to let you guys see the different types of tools that i use to do fiberglass and make sure it comes out on point um i'm just this is pretty much just the tools that'll pretty much get it to the point right to paint you know what i'm saying all my fiberglass stuff i get it ready to where my dad just throws the primer and then he just paints it um, but it's my job to make sure it's nice and smooth and for him not to do nothing all he has to do is just jump in there and get the um, the, the paint on there and get that thing nice and wet all right right here we got some tools that I use to make sure all my fiberglass stuff always looks good once that thing gets painted man um, all these tools are pretty good tools um, they're the tools that you need um, in order for you to have that professional finish when you go to slap a door panel or a console whatever you built inside that car so that thing looks smooth clean and everything man you know these are the basic tools that i use i could probably use more tools but these tools get it done and i'm going to tell you what these tools do um, in the process of doing the fiberglass car audio or the panel whatever you're doing um, the steps the tools that you use in line in order for it to look you know 100 you know what I'm saying so let's get started all right real quick I think I have a series all right so usually if you start doing a panel we'll say for example you start doing a console Ugh. so much stuff this is actually the front part of my console I need to build so you guys get a quick idea you know so it's somewhat the shape that I want to do it and it contours up to the dash and the piece so anyway so say for example I put cup holder display bar um, something in a cubby hole anyways you do the rings um, you slap them on you slap the fleece on which I'll drop a video with the or a pic real quick what it looks like um, you set your rings in place then you lay your your fleece and then now you're ready to fiberglass when you are at the point you know right here where you're about to fiberglass um, you're gonna have to throw your fiberglass on which you know I like to use the boat yard resin which is nice and runny and it'll get, get good coverage the thick one's rather good but i just feel like it doesn't give you enough to spray that thing out but thick is always good because you'll get it to soak through but um i like the the boat yard one because it's runny and it'll just like the fleece will suck it in man so it's gonna grab it you know what i'm saying so then you know you put your hardener you get one of these things right here with the measuring on it um usually you can do like up to 10 let's see like 10 cc if that's what you guys gonna call it um that gives you enough time for you to dump it in there inside a cup right here so basically you put your resin inside this cup you put that one up to 10 
dump that thing in there. And you can use like these, you can go to like arts and craft store and just get these uh, popsicle sticks. Um, they're like a dollar, so you can just throw them away after you get done. Mix it nice and good. Then I want to say that probably gives you like a good enough time to work it, you know. So then you're going to have to use your brush, you know, and just like paint it on there, you know, jab it, punch it, you know, do all of what you got to do to make sure it, it, it's on there. You know what I'm saying? You want to have nice even strokes. Um, make sure every, all the coverage is good. You'll like sit back and look at it and be like, oh, that area needs some. And where you staple that, you know, you want to make sure you get it on there pretty good. Okay, so let's pretend it dried up and everything. You can use a Makita grinder and you can probably get yourself a 40 grit um, sanding disc and knock off that top rough layer. You know what I'm saying? Um, the smaller grinder, which is this one right here, would be for the corners for you to get in there where that guy can't get in there. And now if you really need to get in there, you can use the uh, two inch disc, but you're just going to need to get the two inch uh, disc pad. So put on there and then you can work those real areas where it's really messed up. Okay, now you can use this guy with the diamond blade on it and really knock it out. If you're like really good with your hand steady um, and know how to work it, man, this tool is going to save you a lot of time. Like this is top secret right here. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why I'm telling you this, because my dad works at Yellowfin and those boats are number one. And my dad's like the guy there. He's been working since Wellcraft in like 1989. And then when that place closed down, he worked at Yellowfin. So... Um, man, he's a top guy there. So then, you know, you come there, knock that out. This is just like some regular Bondo, but you can probably go to your local body shop place and pick up some good Bondo. Um, get it on there, use the hardener. Again, you can use this. Stir it up. Then you're going to have to get your uh, Bondo spreader. You know, lay the Bondo nice and good. Don't cake it up because then it's going to be really horrible for you to even sand it. So you go ahead and you sand, you know, lay the bondo, this and that. Then you'll probably want to come back again with this guy and just knock off the, the top areas where it's really like high risen. So I'm not saying get it perfect flat because it's not going to be like that. So then, you know, you come through, you sand it real quick. Then what I like to come through is I'll get my DA with a 5 inch disc on it, um, pad. You can use the, the 5 inch uh, sandpaper. Start at 40 grit get it um, then you know you can move up to 80 grit you know and keep sanding you know keep using this once you feel like you get in a good area where it's almost done nice curves flat areas and don't be scared to get a block um, you know basically get it right here just sand you know what I'm saying it's a nice uh, flat surfaces this one bends so if you have contours that one's pretty good for you to get down um, you can use like these type ones right here sandpaper it'll wrap around it. I mean you've seen people like somewhat sanding videos or something if you guys ever watch it you know nice flat area up and down nice contours um, always have acetone so every time you get done sanding blow it off with your blower which is this guy right here then you know get a rag of um, acetone and just clean it down so then you can really see like it even better so you know where you have to go at um, this suit right here in case you want to sand and not get dirty if it's fiberglass like this one's pretty good it's like a full jumpsuit um always wear a mask you know i sometimes mess up and don't wear a mask and i regret it the next day um so then you pretty much you know just keep going down sanding to where you get to the point where you need like 600 which is this guy to start smoothing it out and you can you know go up to like 800 and get it somewhere pretty good ready to paint then you know you come up with your uh, spot putty get the little extra spots lightly sand it with like the 600 and then you know your final one if you want to do 800 make sure it's all you know nice and good and everything um, always clean it with the acetone so then you see where you really need to get at you know what I'm saying um, if you have rings you can use this and like say if you got an 8 inch ring or a tweeter ring to clean it out just to make it look professional use a you know one of these the dremels or whatever they're called uh, with the wire on it and then it'll just wipe that fiberglass off and sand it and then you can come back with like a sandpaper and like find it out pretty good some things you'll probably need to cut out and you can use an air saw this one's a pretty good one um, it's just missing the rubber piece the handle but man this thing gets it put yourself a nice air saw blade every time you use it um, 
You can use another Dremel if you want to put a diamond blade or something in it um, to work it with this. Um, but these are basically almost like simple tools that you use. Um, you remember you start off with 36 grit, maybe 40 grit, then work to 80, maybe 120. Um, and you slowly work up uh, ready for paint. You know, I don't do the painting. My dad does the painting. So, you know, he knows what he needs to get in there. But he gel coats it. So he shoots it on there pretty thick because then, you know, you come back and wet sand it. So, um, you know, yeah, man, these are the tools that you use. You know to get somewhat the little baby professional look in your backyard um they are pricey like this guy's like 350 um this one was probably like 150. this one was like 150 my dad got it you can buy this one at harbor freights for like 13 14 bucks it'll last you a little bit but i mean it, it, it's good for the money air blower get yourself a nice air blower i think this one's like 20 bucks um these are for harbor freight as well you know i think they're like another like 20 bucks a piece um, sanding paper is going to always cost you a lot of money, you know, depending how good you are with it and how good you can save. Um, the Bondo, you can probably get a nice cheap one for like $20 a gallon or something. Um, acetone, what acetone go for? Almost like 30 bucks or something like that. Um, resin, resin always tends to have a different price, um, just depending on your area, but resin is pretty expensive. Now imagine if you had to use 10 gallons, you know what I'm saying? And um, each gallon will say is like 80 bucks, so you know that's like $800 to do a whole car just in fiberglass resin because then you're gonna need brushes and everything. So, doing fiberglass work is a lot more work and a lot more pricey. Um, a door panel I charge like $1,200 a door panel if it wants to come out finished painted. Console nice fiberglass painted, man, you're looking like another $800 to $1,000 because it's just so, so much time and you got to make sure it's perfect. So, um your work, you know, speaks for itself, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I like to do heavy fiberglass work. Um, sometimes you want to do fiberglass and just wrap it in vinyl, which my how my door panels are, they are wrapped in vinyl, but my back doors are painted, you know, so it um, just depends how far you want to go with it. I am probably going to paint my door panels, and uh, but we'll see what happens. But, yeah, these are the tools. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Any questions? Um, subscribe to the channel. Remember, we're trying to get to that 1K subscriber so we can do that double thing giveaway. Um, or I can give away some tools at one point, man. You guys, let me know in the comments. You know, don't be. Let me know what's good. You know, if any questions, um, like I said, comment. Ask any questions. I'm gonna start doing shoutouts. Um, follow me on my Instagram, Mouse X Trap. I'm fixing to drop just a YouTube channel just for like car content you know these are like my blogs i guess you can say of my car audio experiences but just the regular cars man we're gonna start dropping it on the other one which is uh mousetrap tv man subscribe to it you know let's get the subscribers up in that one that would be a, a lot of videos and man we got a lot of coming for 2022 man you know support the page man we're here to serve y'all